When you first open up the app, this is what you will see. I'm using a mouse so you can see where I'm pointing. I'm just gonna show you what all these buttons and knobs and sliders do in the whole app on all of the different menus and screens. So we're gonna start right now with the middle right here. If you press this middle button, you will be able to see the waveforms of the current song. And then if you press the one to the left over here, this is where you'll get a, a mixer section. So you have the volume of each tracks and you have a really convenient high pass and low pass filter. This is the access to the gains. It's really small, but the app does have a great auto gain feature. So you're not really gonna be using it that much. And then if you press this EQ button, it, it puts the volume fader over here on the levels. So if you look over here, these are the levels and then the volume faders they mix it together so that you have access to this full mixer. So you could change it from Nero Mix to a regular equalizer, and it's like an old school record deck and a mixer with the lows, mids, and highs, and you get the volume fader, and you get to see the levels, which is pretty cool. Next is if we go over to the right, this is where we're gonna access our sampler and our looper. So DJ Pro AI has a great sampler and looper. This gives you only a little bit of the section. You don't get the full view of all of the pads, but I'll show you in the other screens you do. So you could change whatever pack you want. All of these packs have different drums and stuff like that. Or you could go over here and these are your samples. So right there, you could have your samples and you can move these samples around. You could press You could have whatever sample pack you want loaded right there. It's really cool to have your samples there. Maybe if you want to do a little scratch and then throw in a sample. Something like that. Another thing that you could do in this screen is you could press it again, and then it brings it back to this menu, which is just two records. Uh, it gives you bigger access to the records or jog wheels, and it honestly looks really cool. Next is your looper right here. Up here on the right, you have access to your looper. It's very convenient that it's right there. No matter what you're doing, you could just set a loop all the way up to 32 and then all the way down. This is our sync button. If you press the sync button once, it is gonna match the BPMs of both songs. So you see over here on the left, this is the BPM 128, and then this is 100. If we press sync once, it's gonna automatically um, match the BPM, and then you could either leave it in sync, and then it'll keep the beats lined up together, or you could press it again, and then you just quickly got the BPM, but you don't wanna use sync and you wanna do it manually. That's how you could do it, because it could be kind of annoying trying to get the exact BPM with this tempo slider, which is right, behind, right under the sync button. So we have the tempo slider, it goes up, goes down. You could adjust how far. So you could go to here. Now we're in BPM. You could write the BPM if you think you got it wrong. You could split it in half. This is good for mixing songs of different BPMs. If they're exactly double or half, you could simply see it with, your, with the BPM. Or really cool, you could tap. You could tap in, in the BPM. So you listen to the song and then you just tap it with your finger. It's really cool. A lot of other DJ softwares have that feature. Now, if you go over here, the tempo, we could adjust the tempo all the way up to 25, all the way down to minus 25, or we could change it here. We could have it set to eight, all the way up to 75%. I made separate videos on uh, different situations on using the tempo slider, so you guys could check that out, but we're gonna be moving right along. Now, oh, um, I guess this counts, but this record needle, this record, is it's actually active so it'll speed up or bring you back farther in the song it's really cool i don't really use it that much but it's there and a lot of people probably didn't know that next is going to be over here this is where we got our loops our effects and of course nero mix so the first one you're going to see is nero mix um there's i made several videos on how to use nero mix but you could essentially separate the vocals and harmonics and make kind of, you can make acapellas or you can make instrumentals on the fly. Next is going to be our 
Q section. We could set cues. We could edit them. So you set cues by pressing here. You could edit it by pressing this pencil. And then you could name it. You could change the colors. And these colors will actually show up if you're using a controller that has uh, built-in lights in the pad. It's really, really cool. Next is pitch cue. It, it adds a pitch. It pitches it up, pitches it down, speeds it up, speeds it down. So you can make cool noises. like Kind of like you use the cues as a drum pad. Next we have slice, another feature that I don't use that much, but an important one, if you press slice and the drop down menu, you can get the skip and then you could skip exactly 16 bars, however many bars you want, or you could set the start and stop of all auto mix. Next we're going to, to the looper. So right here we have manual looper. You could set the loop to go in, set it to go out. You could turn the loop on, you could turn it off, you could adjust how many beats, and then you could set save loops. It's a little bit complicated, and I made separate videos on that too. You guys could check that out. But we'll move right along to our effects. This is what people are probably most interested in. So here we have access to three effects. We could play three effects at the same time. We have this slider here, and then we have the wet and dry knob, and then we could change any one of these effects. DJ Pro AI has so many different effects, and that's one of the things that makes this app so great. Next is pad. You can do add like a high pass and low pass to the effect. Next is the instant effects. These ones you just press once and they're instant. And then of course there's manual, which is what we already saw. And then next we have a full EQ uh, equipped with a filter. And then if we go over here, we have access to two EQs and two filters. And when, when you move one, it will move the other one, which is, which is really cool. All right, so obviously it's mirrored the same thing on the other side. Down here we have Neuromix. This is the quickest way to use Neuromix. You could either make it vocals only or harmonics or instrumental only. And then of course the classic set and cue button. This is the, you go anywhere in the song, press set, and then you could have a temporary cue point there until you set another one. And then of course play, you press it once it's on, you un you press it again, it turns off. All right, let's go to pro mode. Most of the stuff is the same. So on the bottom, it is pretty much exactly identical to the one in the classic mode. So I'm not gonna talk about it that much. Up here, we have large view of the waveforms. But if you go over here, you press the two, the drop down. We could put the jog wheels back on. So this is probably what it's going to look like when you, when you first start the app. You're going to have these two really cool um, jog wheels. They're really similar to ones that were on Serato Tractor. And they tell you the information, such as the BPM, how much time's left in the song. And they're really cool. You could scratch with them, and they work very well. And then in the middle, we have our waveforms. And this is so you could get a better view of everything pretty much. And th the more important thing is that if we press this middle button, this is the button that's new, we have access to our full library. So you get a bigger view of your library and then you get everything up here that you need to do. And then if you have to do anything with the effects and stuff, you could press this button. Oh. And then if you press it again, so that nothing's selected, you get these really big views of the waveforms and then you get the mixer over here. I never, I don't really use it on this mode. Next is the looper. So you could set, you, is the looper and sampler. All of these are samples ready to go. And then all of these are loops. You guys can make pretty much your own beats using the looper. You just press and then there you go. An auto mix, basically you pick a playlist and then you press start auto mix or stop auto mix and then it'll use artificial intelligence and mix the songs together. I definitely recommend experimenting and doing a lot of stuff with this because uh, it is really fun. Next is going to be one deck mode. This is for preparing tracks. It's really, uh, not a lot of people use it in the app but you could 
see the waveforms bigger and you could set the cue points. Four deck mode, you could play four songs at the same time. You could play three songs at the same time. It's really cool that they have it. It's kind of hard to see because obviously they have to separate it into four different decks. But again, it's really cool if you're used to mixing with four decks on other software and you want to do it on this software, it's right here, you can. And they have controllers that have the four decks controllers. So it is really cool. Next is video mode. DJ Pro has an awesome video mode. You can load up music videos. You, you could use a visual, vis, you, you could have a visualizer. You could set whichever one you want. And I definitely recommend that if you're doing gigs in 2023, you get familiar with the video mode. It's basically instead of the job wheels and the waveforms, you could see videos. And if you're using the streaming service title, then you can load music videos right into the deck and be DJing with music videos. So I really hope this helped you guys. If it was your first time using the app or you've been using the app for a while, just to see where everything is. And if you want to learn more about DJ Pro AI, Give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.